The social media companies and corporate media tried to bury the story for weeks, but it's not going away because it's real. Yesterday, Senate Republicans released a report on Hunter Biden's connection to a Chinese tycoon linked to the communist government of that country. According to the report, Biden's business partner made $6 million in two wire transfers from a Chinese entity tied to the Communist Party in 2017. What does this amount to exactly? Sean Davis is the co-founder of The Federalist. He's followed the story from day one. We're happy to have him tonight. Sean, thanks for coming. So what, what can we take from this report? What should we know? Well, I think you hit the most fascinating and interesting aspect of it, which is that Hunter Biden's business partner, who is also the spouse of Jill Biden's former top aide in the White House, got himself two $3 million wire transfers from a communist Chinese linked energy company. And this was done in 2017. And it, you'll probably recall having you know, been a consumer of the news for the past couple of years, all the accusations of collusion and treason because Donald Trump Jr. had a 20 minute meeting with a Russian uh, yeah. who was actually a client of a Clinton campaign contractor. So if a 20 minute meeting is necessary and sufficient to have a multi-year investigation, I think it's time to have a pretty big investigation about the millions of dollars funneled to Hunter Biden and his friends. And this, the, the partner who got this money wired to him knew Joe Biden. I mean, we put a picture on the air of them playing golf together. He was at the meeting between Biden and Tony Bobulinski in Los Angeles at the Milken Conference. I mean, this is someone who's not separated by too many degrees of separation from Joe Biden. And presumably he was getting the money because of his connections to Biden. Is there any other reason? Was he an energy expert? Not that I can tell. I mean, we know Hunter Biden certainly is uh, not an expert in international energy or commodities markets. I think it's obvious to anyone who has a lick of common sense what was going on here is that they were using Joe Biden's name, the Biden family name, right. as bait for getting access and money from these people who wanted their hooks into the U.S. government. And it worked for them. It's not a small thing since, I mean, China and the United States will intersect in really profound ways over the next four years without question. Right, and you, ha you really have to wonder, again, looking at Biden's China policy, he certainly thinks China's a friend of ours, wanted Trump to go easy on him. You have to wonder, given all this Chinese money that was flowing to Hunter Biden and his friends, whether that has an impact on the Biden foreign policy with America's number one geopolitical foe in the world right now. Yeah, that's exactly right. A, a virus mysteriously emerges from central China, totally rearranges the entire Western economy, and Biden and friends' first response is, don't call it Chinese. That's racism. I mean, I don't know. Maybe some effect. Yeah, it's like leave China alone. It's not like they uh, control a whole bunch of money and are uh, uh, antagonistic towards our foes, dumping products here to put our companies out of business. Right. Uh, you, you really have to wonder what the Bidens have with them and what the Chinese have on the Bidens at this point. Yeah. Where does all the fentanyl come from that's killing 100,000 Americans? Sean Davis, great to see you tonight. Thank you. Thank you.